Hello, I'm Kyle Rodder. The ASX reporting period has begun in this week's edition of IG Macro Intelligence. We discuss what to expect from this earnings season, the key themes and the current fundamentals for the ASX 200. Expectations for corporate profits this reporting period are low, but asset prices remain relatively high. Although on a trailing basis, price multiples appear in line with, if not slightly lower than, historical averages, a pessimistic outlook for economic fundamentals and a run-up in prices over the last 12 months make valuations appear relatively rich. The setup has investors poised for further downside risk, especially given some concerning developments during the so-called confession period, where companies will provide activity, production and profit updates. Most areas of the market have managed to deliver a positive nominal return over the past 12 months. The exceptions have been the interest-sensitive real estate, consumer staples and healthcare sectors, which have experienced multiple compression due to the run-up in government bond yields and the subsequent safer income investors can find in risk-free assets. Strikingly, cyclical areas of the ASX 200 have performed strongly in the past financial year, despite moderating economic activity across the globe. After a horror 2022, the information technology sector has also been propelled to the top of the market as local tech stocks regain traction, largely due to the borderline mania Wall Street tech names inspired by the artificial intelligence boom. The outlook for the domestic economy will be the key issue during this earnings period. After unprecedentedly aggressive monetary policy tightening from the RBA, the markets are braced for an inevitable slowdown in economic activity as consumption declines. So far this year, despite historically weak confidence, households have proven resilient and generally willing to spend. This is probably due to the high savings levels built up during the pandemic, persistent revenge spending, especially on leisure services, along with historically low unemployment. Concerning signs have emerged in company guidance amongst consumer discretionary companies, however. The likes of Ardent Leisure, Adairs, Bubs Australia and a handful of others have sliced profit guidance in recent months as households tighten their belts amidst the cost of living crisis and higher interest rates. How interest rate increases are flowing through to corporates will also be a key issue during this reporting period. While higher rates will slow demand, companies face headwinds from higher debt servicing costs and higher hurdle rates to invest. Although overall leverage is low amongst ASX listed companies, the more than 400 basis point increase in the cash rate could put pressure on company balance sheets. It may also disincentivize growth initiatives. Of course, as has been observed in the US earnings season, higher interest rates have supported banks' bottom lines. Out of the big four, only the CBA reports this period. During the bank's last reporting period, warnings about a peak in net interest margins and weaker loan growth knocked CBA stocks from record highs. Investors will be keenly awaiting insights from the bank about future margins and credit demand. Corporates are also dealing with a higher cost base, which combined with higher interest rate expenses is putting pressure on profit margins. A resilient mining sector has helped prop up the Australian market, even as underlying commodity prices have pulled back from elevated levels. The Bloomberg Commodity Index is 10% lower than a year ago. Iron ore prices are flat over the year but have fallen to as low as $75 per tonne. Comments about future Chinese demand for Australian exports will be closely watched as the country's fledgling recovery clouds the outlook for iron ore prices. The ASX 200 looks cheap by historical standards. However, earnings growth is moderating with risks due to the downside. According to data from Simply Wall Street, ASX 200 profits have expanded 10% from a year ago, which is a historically healthy pace. Aggregate profits sit at $144.7 billion right now. The trailing price to earnings for the index is also below the 10-year average of 23 times, although that number is somewhat distorted by the huge multiple expansion that occurred during the post-pandemic asset price boom. A relatively low price to earnings ratio of 17.1 suggests sluggish profit growth going forward. From a technical standpoint, the ASX 200 is range-bound, with the market trading between 6400 and 7600 in the past 12 months. In the short term, the index is sitting just below resistance at 7400, which, if broken, could push the market towards record highs. Major support exists at 7000 and 6840.